In this video, we will prove that derivative of x to the power n is equal to n times x to the power n minus 1 by two different methods. So the first method is we know that for y is equal to fx dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx by h. So for y is equal to x to the power n we get dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 x plus h to the power n minus x to the power n by h and now we get dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 and according to binomial expansion x plus h to the power n will be n c 0 x to the power n plus n c 1 x to the power n minus 1 into h plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 into h square and up to n c n and h to the power n and we have minus x to the power n by h and now we get dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 and n c 0 is equal to 1. So n c 0 x to the power n will be x to the power n and n c 1 is n. So we get n times x to the power n minus 1 into h plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 h square plus up to n c n h to the power n minus x to the power n by h and now we get dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 and x to the power n and x to the power n we get cancelled and we get n times x to the power n minus 1 and h by h will get cancelled plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 and h square by h will be h plus up to n c n and h to the power n by h will be h to the power n minus 1 and now here we have h tends to 0 so on term containing h will be 0 so this will be 0, this will be 0. So on terms containing h will be 0 and we get dy by dx is equal to n times x to the power n minus 1, n times x to the power n minus 1 and y is equal to x to the power n. So we get d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n times x to the power n minus 1 and it is the required proof. And now the second method is we have to prove that d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n times x to the power n minus 1. So here we have y is equal to x to the power n and now if we change x by dx then y will change by some dy. So we get y plus dy is equal to x plus dx to one power n. And now we get y plus dy is equal to if we take x to the power n common then we get 1 plus dx by x to one power n. And we know that if a much less than 1 then 1 plus minus a to the power n is equal to 1 plus minus n a by binomial approximation and here dx by x 
is much less than 1. So, we can get y plus dy is equal to x to the power n and 1 plus dx by x to 1 power n will be 1 plus n times dx by x and we can get y plus dy is equal to x to the power n plus n times x to the power n by x will be x to the power n minus 1 times dx and we have y is equal to x to the power n y is equal to x to the power n plus dy is equal to x to the power n plus n into x to the power n minus 1 into dx and x to the power n and x to the power n we get cancelled and we get dy is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 into dx or we can get dy by dx is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 and y is equal to x to the power n so we can get d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 and it is the required proof.